what's up everybody this is Paul and if you have a lot of aloe varieties like we do you're always looking out for this and if you don't know what that is that is uh, aloe cancer or I call it aloe wart but it's known that uh, the aloe gall mite uh, and what they are, are these microscopic mites that are kind of like little worms with legs you need a microscope to see them and what they do is they attack the leaves and then make the cells kind of like re replicate so it's kind of like a wart um, and then they'll travel through their uh, through the wind so they can go to another variety of aloe um, through the wind so they you want to get rid of this as soon as possible because you don't want it to spread and so um, <clears throat> some people will cut it out and use cinnamon to cover it and then use a systemic something like bear tree and shrub um, or the triple action one there's a different type it might be a little better but again all results are marginal now what people will usually do is use a systemic to prevent this on a, like a very special variety of aloe but then that 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 is the bee killers so the systemics do kill the bees so in this case I have multiple aloe varieties of this aloe it's uh, Mount Elgon aloe so I'm gonna just show you how to toss it in a second but before I do that um, there is one variety of uh, aloe you could get that's resistant to this and they say the aloe blue elf is pretty good to resisting this pest so let's see if I can get it up close for you that's basically what it looks like nothing good about it and again you don't want it to spread so don't just let it sit there and this is now the second time I've had one of these Mount Elgon aloes get it in the past couple years and I've also had one torch aloe get it so I stay on top of it and whenever I see it look like that if I see something like that I get rid of it so let me show you how I do that okay so I, I was gonna have to use my tool here and I barely pushed on it and it snapped over so I broke over without me using these. Remember, if you did have to use these tools, uh, shears, you wanna make sure you use alcohol to clean them properly so you don't spread this thing. So now what I do is I like bag it and throw it right in the trash can. So I'll poke a little hole in the bottom. Twist, and it came right off really, oops. Leaves are pretty break pretty easily the leaves break pretty easily so what I like to do is I like to make sure I get that all the way in the bag this one is kind of spiny yeah. so there I'm gonna tie this up and throw it in the trash do not compost this uh, you want to get this stuff out of your yard and away from any other aloe variety. Now, I'm not done. I am going to have to dig that out with a shovel because it's still, in my opinion, could be infected. I mean, that growth on the bottom looks a little atypical already. So I'm going to use a shovel and dig this up. All right. Again, you can use systemics, but there is marginal data on it being successful all right give us a like and a subscribe we'll keep them coming have yourself a great day take care dude it's creepy